We are emanating tonight from Sacramento, California, just 48 hours before our trip to San Francisco and our trip to Levi Stadium for the biggest party of the summer, Summer Slam. But tonight, all eyes focused on a loaded night on Friday Night SmackDown that will feature the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre and Cody Rhodes taking on Kaiser and Vinci of Imperium. And also coming up later tonight, in your SmackDown main event, it is a high-stakes steel cage grudge match. Ron Breaker, Dolph Ziggler, so much bad blood and history between these two men. It finally comes to a screeching halt later tonight in Sacramento inside the steel cage. And we kick things off from the Golden One Center as advertised with the monstrous tag team affair. In 48 hours, Drew McIntyre will defend his world heavyweight title against the King of the Ring winner, Austin Theory. But prior to that, Drew McIntyre reignites with an old tag team partner and the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes just 40 hours before he challenges Gunther for the United States title. SummerSlam coming up hot and heavy 48 hours from this evening, but the Golden One Center playing host to what is going to be a huge night here on Friday Night SmackDown. Let's get things going with your opening tag team bout. The following is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. A man who has turned away any and all challengers, but will he be able to turn away the 2023 King of the Ring winner? All day, Austin Theory, it's your Friday Night SmackDown main event this Sunday at SummerSlam. Gotta wonder where the psyche of Austin Theory is. Last week, taking a loss to the Rated R Superstar Edge, a man he's never been able to defeat. How will that loss play in to Austin Theory's game plan this Sunday night? All remains to be seen what is gonna happen in 48 hours in Levi Stadium. But Austin Theory tonight gets to sit back and scout the World Heavyweight Champion, a man that nobody has had the answer to figure out ever since McIntyre won that title back at WrestleMania. And you are looking at the man who made his WWE return back in February at WrestleMania, and ever since that night has been on a relentless pursuit to win championship gold. It slipped through his fingers last month at Super SmackDown, but Cody Rhodes has walked a dangerous path, earning the number one contendership yet again. And the American Nightmare will challenge the ring general in 48 hours for the prestigious red, white, blue, and gold, the United States Heavyweight Championship that belongs to Friday Night SmackDown. It is the biggest party yet, and it is coming your way this Sunday, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time from Levi Stadium in San Francisco, California. But tonight here in Sacramento, a big-time tag team matchup on hand. Drew McIntyre, Cody Rhodes, they know each other well. They have teamed up in years past, former WWE Tag Team Champions even, between the two men. But all these years later, two completely different competitors, two main event level stars. Drew McIntyre has proved his worth as the face of Friday Night SmackDown throughout 2023. Cody Rhodes looking to make his mark this Sunday at SummerSlam. But Cody Rhodes get a little preview of the ring general Gunther. McIntyre a warm up as well. As Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci of Imperium will stand across from the champion and the United States Champions Challenger. 14-0 since joining SmackDown is the ring general Gunther. Let's see if Vinci and Kaiser can continue to build momentum for Imperium ahead of Gunther's matchup this Sunday. And accompanied by Gunther at a 
combined weight of 440 pounds, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci Imperia. Some of the best have tried and some of the best have failed to defeat the ring general. But will round two between Cody Rhodes and Gunther spell the end of Gunther's United States Championship reign? The American Nightmare, the ring general. One more time this Sunday, what is going to happen? It's San Francisco, California. Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser. This is a huge opportunity for them tonight to derail the momentum of the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, and bring that momentum to the Imperium side of the fray. Guther, as we mentioned, 14-0 in singles competition since Imperium joined SmackDown in the draft back in November. And how many of those wins are regarding that United States Championship around Guther's waist? The title that he won back in February at WrestleMania, defeating the almighty Bobby Lashley and sending him packing the Monday Night Raw. Guther has turned away the challenges of Wesley, AJ Styles, Rey Mysterio, and more. Cody Rhodes has felt the wrath, first hand of the ring general. He pushed Guther to his limits back in June in Washington, D.C., but ultimately failed to capture the United States title. Remains to be seen if this Sunday will be any different, but here we go. Drew McIntyre, Ludwig Kaiser kicking things off in your opening matchup live here at the Golden One Center for your final SmackDown before SummerSlam. Drew McIntyre, you want to talk about being absolutely dominant. Look no further than the World Heavyweight Champion McIntyre. It's been a long time since that man has taken a loss. Back in December was the last time Drew McIntyre smelled defeat. All throughout his World Championship reign, in the last number of months, he has defeated some of the absolute best in this industry. John Cena, Edge, Randy Orton, just some of the names that Drew McIntyre has mowed over in his World Heavyweight Championship reign thus far. But will the young and hungry King of the Ring winner, whether you like his attitude or not, you gotta give him his props. A deserving challenger in Austin Theory be the one to take down the Scottish Warrior. We will find out this Sunday, but McIntyre dominated Kaiser here in a tag made to the American Nightmare, a son of a plumber, Cody Rhodes. Little bionic elbow. Shout out to the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, the father of Cody, who once held the United States Championship that Cody Rhodes is in pursuit of. Will Cody Rhodes be able to bring that red, white, and blue strap back to the Rhodes family this Sunday? We will find out in 48 hours as Giovanni Vinci gets tagged in. Vinci and Cody, your two legal men in this opening contest tonight in the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California. Take nothing away from Giovanni Vinci. This is a man who was first introduced to the WWE back in 2016 in the Cruiserweight Classic. All these years later, a bit of a light heavyweight in a sense. So many strong suits in Vinci's arsenal. Agility, speed, power. Giovanni Vinci, quite frankly, a very underrated talent, dare I say, here on Friday Night SmackDown. Speaking of the Cruiserweight Classic, the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic kicks off in less than 24 hours right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Join us live, a live premiere event at 3 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow afternoon for the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic kickoff. Tournament's going to take place over the next eight weeks. Cannot wait to get to the Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York tomorrow afternoon. But nonetheless, Ludwig Kaiser tagged in. And Imperium has got Cody Rhodes in enemy territory. Cody Rhodes, very impressive since earning his number one contendership. Remember how he did so, eliminating every man in a five-man elimination challenge a number of weeks ago. Mustafa Ali, Dolph Ziggler, Robert Roode, Braun Breaker. All put down by the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes building some much needed momentum. Defeated Chad Gable in recent weeks here on SmackDown. He is red hot going into SummerSlam, but will it be enough to take down the undefeated ring general of SmackDown and Guther? All remains to be seen. We'll find the answer to those questions in the middle of Levi Stadium this Sunday. But right now, Cody just trying to get back in to this matchup as Giovanni Vinci once again tagged in. The American Nightmare with a disaster kick. And that'll certainly change the tides in this opening contest. This is a chance for Cody Rhodes to send a message to the United States champion who is at ringside looking on. And also a chance for Guther to scout his opponent one more time. Again, these men have been in the ring with each other before. 
As we mentioned, we believe Cody Rhodes gave Guther the best challenge that Guther has met since joining the main roster, pushing the ring general to his limits. I don't wonder what the psyche of Guther is. Obviously confident, 14-0 since joining SmackDown, the reigning defending champion, always a champion's advantage. But Guther knows how tough the American Nightmare is, and you gotta wonder if Guther is shaking in his boots a little bit with Cody Rhodes coming up this Sunday. All remains to be seen. Drew McIntyre, the legal man. Here comes Ludwig Kaiser, but he has met with a kick to the rib cage and an overhand hammer to the back. Drew McIntyre, Guther, not too far from each other. That's a matchup I would love to see down the line. Those two champions both won their titles back at WrestleMania. Both have a chance to either retain them or see them vanish this Sunday night. Ludwig Kaiser getting back into this tag team matchup. Nice basement drop kick takes the World Heavyweight Champion off his feet. Gotta wonder again, Austin Theory sitting back and watching McIntyre tonight. You gotta wonder where Austin Theory's psyche is. Just seven nights ago here on SmackDown, went one-on-one -on -one with the Rated R Superstar Edge, and those two men are no strangers to each other. They have had battles dating back to last year, and Edge every time has defeated Austin Theory, and that continued last week. So you gotta wonder what's going through the mind of the number one contender to the world title. Just 48 hours before he is supposed to contest Drew McIntyre, one of the most dominating champions in recent history at SummerSlam. Meanwhile, Cody Rhodes tagged in, and the Tope Suicida takes Ludwig Kaiser down. The American Nightmare, looking hot, looking sharp. Getting the blood flowing before he challenges Guther at 48 hours. Sending a message to the champion, right in Imperium territory. Going for the cover, but Giovanni Vinci is right there. Ludwig Kaiser popped the shoulder off the canvas as well. Cody Rhodes, Drew McIntyre, working like a well-oiled machine in this contest. We mentioned back in 2010, these two men were tag team champions with each other. Meanwhile, Cody Rhodes with a murder breaker on Ludwig Kaiser. But Giovanni Vinci not even going to allow a one count, breaking things up, but I think the world champion, Drew McIntyre, are going to take care of Vinci, and there's the crossroads. And right in front of the United States champion, Cody sends an emphatic message. Well, a big time victory for the number one contender for the United States title and the world heavyweight champion, Drew McIntyre. Vinci and Kaiser will live to fight another day, but it all comes down to this Sunday night at SummerSlam. Championships will be on the line and legacies will be at stake for Cody Rhodes and Drew McIntyre. What a matchup tonight on SmackDown. Here are your winners, Drew McIntyre and Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes has another chance to reclaim his destiny this Sunday night when he challenges Guther for the United States Championship. Meanwhile, Drew McIntyre turned away any and all men, but will Austin Theory crack the code of the Scottish Warrior? Two high-profile championship matches representing the blue brand in 48 hours at SummerSlam. Will Cody do the unthinkable? And will Drew McIntyre reclaim his spot at the top as World Heavyweight Champion? In 2016, the landscape of WWE was altered when the best wrestlers from around the globe at 205 pounds and under gathered on common ground and fought to earn the ultimate spotlight. Now, we do it all over again, starting on Saturday afternoon, August the 19th, 16 of the best cruiserweights in all of WWE will compete in an eight-week eliminator to determine a future challenger for gold and to decide who is the best in the world. It's the 2023 WWE Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, and it all begins on the 19th of August. Yes, indeed, the Cruiserweight Classic kicks off tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, and there is a look at the 16 men from Raw, SmackDown, and NXT that will compete over the next eight weeks to determine a winner to this historic tournament. And tomorrow afternoon, kicking things off in the Cruiserweight Classic, Akira Tozawa set to go one-on-one -on -one with the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano, in a first-round matchup. 
And also coming your way at 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon in New York City. It is the father and son collision in the first round. Dominic Mysterio, Rey Mysterio. What bigger of a matchup to kick off the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic? You're not going to want to miss it. Be right here at 3 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. It is going to be an awesome kickoff to what will be an amazing tournament. Well, here comes a man who is absolutely no cruiserweight, the Nigerian giant, Omas. I'm sure Omas isn't interested in any of the cruiserweight classic affairs. Again, ladies and gentlemen, 3 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Cannot wait to get to the Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York, where the cruiserweight classic tournament will animate, animate excuse me, for the next eight weeks. We're here tonight in Sacramento, the action continues on SmackDown. Omas has got his hands full with one of those 16 men who will participate in the tournament. The one, the only human highlight reel of Friday nights. It's Ricochet. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Well, in a few weeks' time, Ricochet will meet Los Lothario's Humberto Carrillo in the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic, but tonight, a complete polar opposite of an opponent. Truly a David versus Goliath situation at hand here in the Golden One Center in Sacramento. And if there's anybody who can overclimb these obstacles, Look no further than the human highlight reel, the blue brand, Ricochet. Over the last year alone, Ricochet has held the Cruiserweight Championship for upwards of six months here in the WWE. Former tag team champion alongside Mustafa Ali. Also alongside Ali won the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Just last month was a participant representing SmackDown in the Men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Ricochet with a huge obstacle ahead tonight in Omas, looking to build some momentum towards the Cruiserweight Classic. And as for Omas, you gotta look at the Nigerian Giant is just looking to build some momentum at all here on SmackDown. Been a little bit since we've seen Omas inside the squared circle, but back here tonight and looking to make some, make a noise, make some statements made. And the one and only Ricochet. Ricochet's got a stick and move if he can even get the chance so far. The big man all over the high flyer and Ricochet. Ricochet, no stranger to taller, stronger opponents. He's fought them his whole career, but Omas is just a different breed. One of the biggest superstars ever stepped foot inside the squared circle. A man who went toe to toe with Brock Lesnar earlier this year at WrestleMania. Called out the Beast Incarnate. But nonetheless, Ricochet, whoa, what a maneuver! That's one way to get Omas down, but. You gotta keep the Nigerian Giant there. Great DDT, Ricochet showcasing some of that high offense, high flying ability. Able to strike while the iron's hot. Omas rolling to the outside and Ricochet taking things to the air like only the human highlight reel can. Ricochet is a, a superhero in and out of that ring. A man who does extraordinary things and he is showcasing that right now. Only few men are gonna be able to take Omas down and try to keep him there. Ricochet trying to prove his worth here tonight. Omas, can't believe I'm saying this, but almost looks in trouble right now. Ricochet has had a decorated career in the WWE. We mentioned just his credentials over the last year, but as an entire NXT and WWE career, we have seen him as a North American champion, Intercontinental champion, United States champion. Ricochet looking to make some noise and build some momentum ahead of the Cruiserweight Classic. His first round match coming up in a couple of weeks' time. Down goes the Nigeria Giant, into the cover goes the Cuban highlight reel, but Omas only a one count there. It's going to take more. Keep the big man off his feet. The ricochet going back to the well with what works. Another Pele. Oh, look at Omas. Right back to his feet. Not allowing Ricochet to build some momentum and throws him down like a rag doll. Right and down to the canvas. The ground and pound commences by the Nigerian giant. With a matter of a snap of the fingers has changed the trajectory of this contest. Ricochet down, Ricochet out. And Omas starting to pick the bones of the one and only. Like a shark in infested waters. 
Ricochet dodging. Oh my goodness, is this CO Moss just rejecting whatever Ricochet was trying to throw at him there, that strike. And look at this, the one and only, using the speed again and again, going back to the well. What has, what has succeeded him so far? And now Ricochet going to the top. 6.30 on Amos. Ricochet has got the big man down, has got the big man out. But does he have him out for the three? Into the cover goes Ricochet. Oh, what a win by the one and only. Well, that is not going to sit right with Omos, I promise you. But what a momentum builder matchup for Ricochet climbing this mountain tonight and succeeding in victory. Here is your winner, Ricochet! You got to look at Ricochet as one of the favorites out of the class of 16 that will compete over the next eight weeks in the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. A man who once stood on top of the division as the king of the cruiserweights has another chance to do the same. The 2023 Cruiserweight Classic 16 man competing over the next eight weeks kicks off tomorrow afternoon in Manhattan, New York at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Nowhere else but right here. In 2016, the landscape of WWE was altered when the best wrestlers from around the globe at 205 pounds and under, gathered on common ground and fought to earn the ultimate spotlight. Now, we do it all over again, starting on Saturday afternoon, August the 19th, 16 of the best cruiserweights in all of WWE will compete in an eight week eliminator to determine a future challenger for gold and to decide who is the best in the world. It's the 2023 WWE Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, and it all begins on the 19th of August. We are back live in the Golden One Center here in Sacramento, California. And here come the men that in 48 hours will challenge for the WWE World Tag Team Championship at SummerSlam. Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows have been on a collision course since their SmackDown return. And although the tag team titles are on the line this Sunday, momentum is on the line tonight, live on SmackDown. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Luke Gallows, representing the OC by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 213 pounds, Carl Anderson. Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, these two men have won championship gold all over the globe, from Japan to the States, from Canada, Mexico, look no further than Anderson and Gallows. And these two men looking to add more credentials to their long list of accolades this Sunday night. SmackDown's OC set to battle Rawls, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest of the Judgment Day in this interpromotional clash for the World Tag Team Championship. But as for tonight on SmackDown, the World Tag Team titles cross the bridge to the blue brand and the Prince Finn Balor reigniting an old flame with a former friend, now turned foe, in Machine Gun, Carl Anderson. The Judgment Day has arrived on SmackDown. And his opponent, accompanied by Damian Priest, representing the Judgment Day from Bray. County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds. One half of the world tag team champions, Finn Balor. Well, these two men have taken Monday Night Raw by storm ever since joining forces several months ago. And it was really a short turnaround time for the Judgment Day since coming together till they won the world tag team titles back in June at King of the Ring. They have already retained the titles over the Street Profits last month. And now the next challengers await representing Friday Night SmackDown, Machine Gun Carl Anderson, the big LG Luke Gallows, a formidable duo 
But will they be enough to take down Balor and Priest this Sunday? We will find out in 48 hours in Levi Stadium. But as we mentioned, momentum is on the line tonight in the blue brand as Finn Balor and Damian Priest crossing the bridge and making a rare occurrence here on Friday nights. And Carl Anderson looking to build momentum for the original club. Anderson and Gallows returning back in the month of May alongside their leader, AJ Styles. Anderson and Gallows have not seen one blemish on the record ever since their return. We have seen them up against the Viking Raiders, up against Los Lotharios, Imperium. Anderson and Gallows have caught nothing but Ws since their SmackDown return, but Balor already taking Anderson out of the ringside area. And Anderson, wait a minute. Neckbreaker on the top rope, snapping the Prince. These two men with a ton of history with each other. Dating back to their days in Japan, used to stand side by side, but now stand across with two completely different perspectives and morals inside of that ring. And certainly a championship in the World Tag Team titles that divide the OC and the Judgment Day. Tonight is about momentum. Tonight is about a feeling out process, scouting your opponent before the collision on Sunday. But Anderson. And Gallows know, especially Finn Balor, so well. Damian Priest almost the odd man out. So this is a chance for Damian Priest to get a good look at Anderson before SummerSlam and Levi Stadium. Right now, Anderson throwing some strikes at the Prince. Finn Balor going to meet him with some. Although a rare singles match for one member of the OC, that being the machine gun Carl Anderson, take nothing away from this man as successful as Anderson and Gallows have been as a duo. Carl Anderson with another long list of accolades as a singles wrestler as well all over the world. Ben Balor knows that firsthand. He's being reminded of it here tonight already on SmackDown. Balor going to take his time trying to get in the mindset of machine gun Carl Anderson. Balor back inside of the ring. And oh man, missile drop kick, nails flush. Beautiful springboard out of the Prince. Just like that, momentum shifting to the Judgment Day territory and a nice suplex delayed. But the vertical takes down Anderson. One half of the World Tag Team Champions starting to come unglued in the early moments of this matchup. As we mentioned, Balor and Priest really came together and dominated in a sense on Monday Night Raw in really a short time. Things came together for Balor and Priest after WrestleMania when Finn Balor was drafted to Monday Night Raw. And just in a matter of a few months, earned the number one contendership and became World Tag Team Champions back in June. And as we mentioned already, a successful defense under their belt, defeating Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford last month. We've seen Priest and Balor in there with some of the best Monday Night Raw has to offer. Now they go in with two of the best SmackDown has to offer this Sunday, but Balor, there's another drop kick, a signature out of the Prince. Coral Anderson shot like the machine gun he is right into the corner. And Balor going for the cover, almost had him off the two count. Not enough to keep the machine gun down just yet. Take nothing away from Carl Anderson. As we mentioned, he's won championships all around the world all by himself. Finn Balor knows Anderson well, but he can't take him lightly, thinking that Carl Anderson has become more of a tag team wrestler these days. Finn Balor right now, Carl Anderson might have kicked out, but was he just delaying the inevitable? It's one thing to survive, it's another thing to thrive inside of the ring. Carl Anderson's got to get things going, and there he goes. Hangman's neck breaker, and down goes one half of the champions. Carl Anderson starting to build some much needed momentum in this contest. Oh, wait a minute. This is where Damian Priest and Finn Balor have found so much success watching each other's back in singles competition. Priest taking the eye off the ball of Anderson just for the right time. As Balor came from behind, but there's Carl Anderson getting back into it again. And a Balor with a swing blade. And you can tell these men know each other well, because it's starting, there we go again, another reversal. Back and forth, the pendulum of momentum swings here in Sacramento. Finn Balor down again. We may be in the home of the Kings tonight, but the Prince is the one who is on all fours at the moment. Carl Anderson sending Balor into the corner. What's the machine gun got in mind? Short order boot. And down goes Finn. A little bit of a signature out of the arsenal of Carl Anderson. 
Now the sit out into the cover. Only a one count there, but at least in my point of view, a bit of a lack of enthusiasm in that kick out by Balor. Damage starting to take a toll. And speaking of taking a toll, Damian Priest is certainly paying his dues in this matchup. Taking Anderson's eye off the ball again, but Balor unfortunately not able to capitalize. I say unfortunately for the Judgment Day, but Carl Anderson, signature spine buster. And Balor gets the shoulder up, and that's a spine buster that Art Anderson would be proud of. Not enough to keep Balor down, a move that has found the OC success in the past. Not enough to keep Prince down tonight. You gotta wonder what that's gonna do to Carl Anderson's psyche, throwing one of his best shots at Balor. Or on the flip side of the coin, Carl Anderson might be expecting Balor to know his arsenal very well and maybe not feel so destructive from it. Knows what to survive. Meanwhile, Damian Priest again trying to play a toll in this matchup. And Balor coming from behind and takes advantage as Anderson is now off his feet. Into the cover. For the victory tonight on SmackDown, but Carl Anderson kicks out. So to come tonight in your main event, big time grudge match inside of a steel cage as the show off Dolph Ziggler battles the blue chipper of the blue brand, Braun Breaker. And don't forget 24 hours, less than 24 hours from now, 3 p.m. Saturday afternoon, we will kick off the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic with Akira Tozawa versus Johnny Gargano and Dominic versus Rey Mysterio. Two first round matches tomorrow afternoon in New York City. All roads lead to SummerSlam live at 5 p.m. Eastern time this Sunday night. Levi Stadium, San Francisco, California. Cannot wait to get there. Meanwhile, Balor and Anderson back inside of the ring. Nice takedown by the Prince. A nice drop kick, that's a signature. And a one half of the champions. And that went to the cover. And will that do it? Not enough just yet. Anderson survives again. Fowler and Anderson showcasing some of their best hands right now. But it's not doing the trick. Just again, another notch on the list of things that really prove how well these two men know each other. Balor taking down Anderson again, goes back to the well with what has been effective so far, at least from a damage point of view. Not enough to keep Anderson down for the three, but again, Damian Priest is on the damn apron, taking Anderson's eye off the ball, and Balor takes advantage. At some point, you're going over the top with it, and the referee is gonna have to call it. Remains to be seen, Anderson still swinging though. On the middle buckle, drops the elbow to the throat of the, of the Prince Finn Balor. Finn down and out, Anderson, another hangman's neck breaker. Carl Anderson starting a rally, Sacramento behind. One half of the original club, loaded up in a big time uppercut in the corner. Finn Balor's on spaghetti legs, but Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me now. Anderson, Anderson's gotta keep his eye on the ball, but it certainly is hard to do that when you got the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest barking in your ear from the opposite side of the ring. Damian Priest may just be the difference maker in this matchup tonight against Carl Anderson as Balor once again is back in control. It's been a great contest. If you take away the factor of Damian Priest, Really playing a role in the momentum of things, and Carl Anderson, another spine buster on Balor. Oh, wait a minute, Damian Priest has got the referee's back turned. Anderson off the cutter, into the cover. Oh, come on, referee's got his back turned thanks to Damian Priest. Oh, this thing could be over by now. Referee, out of position, now goes for the cover. Balor kicks out, you have gotta be kidding. Damian Priest just calls Carl Anderson this matchup. I believe he was trying to take the turnbuckle pad off. Referee caught him with his hand in the cookie jar, but unfortunately the ref's back was turned and now Carl Anderson's gonna have to resort to a different measure of damage on Finn Balor. Sleeper hold, but Finn Balor able to break it. And Balor, as lucky as they come right now, that Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows don't play the same game in return. Damian Priest has been a difference maker. But Carl Anderson off the kick out. Still fighting, but that may be a knockout blow by Balor. Great matchup thus far. 
nonetheless, and Balor with the Pele kick. And I got a feeling Finn Balor is one step closer to the finish line than his opposer tonight. Anderson rolling to the outside, trying to catch a breather, but maybe academic at this point, as the momentum has certainly shifted in this contest. Carl Anderson with the spine buster, the cutter, the sleeper hold, throwing everything in the kitchen sink at Balor. But the numbers game, Damian Priest getting involved, and Balor surviving has been the X Factor. And speaking of an X Factor, another cutter, but somehow Balor survives again. And I'm gonna give the credit to Finn Balor on that one. He got the kick out off another cutter by Carl Anderson. Damian Priest, nothing he could have done there. If Finn Balor lost, he lost clean as a whistle in my eyes to machine gun Carl Anderson. But yet the match continues, and another swing blade by Finn. This is a game of cat and mouse right now. These two are playing chess, not checkers, but who's gonna be the better man? Outsmart the other and ultimately get the victory tonight in Sacramento. Oh, Carl Anderson, small package on Finn. Will that do it? The Balor muscles out. And somehow this match ro rolls on between Anderson and Balor. And my goodness, as this is a preview of what we are gonna see this Sunday at SummerSlam, and we're gonna be in for a treat when the tag team titles are on the line. Ragdoll and Finn off the top rope, and now Anderson scaling the ropes himself. Heading up to the tippy top. And the machine gun, his wheels are turning. Firing out like a cannon. Oh, going for the crossbody. Balor counters. Look at the strength. And down goes Anderson. Into the cover. Off the reversal. And he almost got him. Almost had Carl Anderson. But Anderson gets the shoulder up. Man, what a match we are seeing here in the Golden One Center tonight. A live edition of SmackDown and Balor and Carl Anderson blowing the roof off of the Golden One Center. Anderson's down, Finn Balor goes back to the well with the Pele kick. And now he's heading to the top, could be looking for Kuda Gross, but Carl Anderson having none of it. Man, so many times in this matchup in a matter of a snap of the fingers, the momentum has changed. There's been a reversal on a dime. These two men know each other better than they know themselves. And we are seeing that on display firsthand tonight as Anderson rolls to the outside to catch a breather. Just trying to recuperate, but Balor inside of the ring, scouting his prey. Anderson trying to make it inside, trying to throw some lefts, trying to throw some rights. Get Balor, get some distance. And he succeeded at least for the moment. Carl, can Carl Anderson get the finish? That is what we are waiting on in this matchup. Balor's down. You gotta imagine exhaustion is starting to set in for both of these men. Went for the cutter again, but this time the Prince had it scouted. That is the dangers of going back to the well with the same maneuver more than once. And Anderson kicks out, but for how much longer? This very well may be a test of endurance between these two men. Simply, who's gonna be the last man standing? Who's gonna have enough left in the tank? And come this Sunday, it may be a test of just who wants it more. Balor going to the top. Coup de Gras, nobody home. Anderson moves out of the way. Wait a minute, from behind, stacking up Balor. And he got him, what a win by Coral Anderson. Finn Balor failed to deliver the coup de gras. Toro Anderson had it scouted. Red Finn Balor's play like a book. Side septum Balor, nobody home. Anderson came from behind, stacking up the Prince for the one, the two, and the three tonight in Sacramento. Your winner, Carl well, momentum is riding at an all time high. Anderson and Gallows have not smelled defeat since their SmackDown return. And they are rolling into San Francisco this Sunday as possibly the odds on favorite. It's the OC versus the Judgment Day for the WWE World Tag Team titles. If tonight was any preview, we are gonna be in for a treat. Come Levi Stadium in 48, a 48 hours.
It is the biggest party of the summer, and it comes your way in just 48 hours from Levi Stadium in San Francisco, California. At 5 p.m. Eastern time, we will begin the 2023 Summer Slam. And coming up this Sunday, an open challenge by the A-list superstar for Monday Night Raw, The Miz. His momentum not too hot as of late. The losing streak has plagued The Miz, but he hopes to turn around this Sunday. Two men from Friday Night SmackDown with a vendetta against each other years and years long. The Rated R Superstar, the Apex Predator Randy Orton, write the next chapter of their storied rivalry this Sunday in San Francisco. You want to talk about a personal grudge? Look no further than the no-holds-barred collision between the prize fighter Kevin Owens and the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. These two men have been at each other's throats for months. It comes to an end this Sunday. Championships are at stake when the Intercontinental title is on the line. Cedric Alexander continues to climb the ranks of Monday Night Raw, but can he topple the defiant L.A. Knight? Earlier tonight, we saw the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes continue to build his momentum, but will it be enough to take down the undefeated ring general Guther? The rematch from Super SmackDown back in June for the United States Championship, American Nightmare versus the ring general. The World Tag Team titles will be on the line. Moments ago, you saw Carl Anderson pick up the win over Finn Balor. Will that play a factor into the championship contest this Sunday when it's the OC versus the Judgment Day? Coming up this Sunday as well, it is being called the Money Fight for the WWE Women's Championship. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, two of the most dominant women in WWE history collide. The Friday Night SmackDown main event Features the 2023 King of the Ring winner, A-Town Austin Theory, taking on the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship. And in the main event, from Raw, it is a fatal four-way all-star matchup for the WWE title. Karrion Cross, Bobby Lashley, John Cena, and the champion Matt Riddle, who will be the last man standing and leaving Levi Stadium as the WWE. WWE Champion. But as for tonight in Sacramento, California, it is main event time for the Golden One Center. And if you want to talk about personal grudges, bad blood, and so much history between two competitors, look no further than Braun Breaker and Dolph Ziggler. The following contest is a Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. This all started several months ago when Braun Breaker turned over a new leaf here on SmackDown and targeted the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre for the big gold belt. In his pursuit to become champion, Braun Breaker reignited an old flame with the show off Dolph Ziggler. With not one but two victories over Dolph, Ziggler came back for more, wanted to even the score with Breaker. The two men met in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament, and after a show stealer of a contest, Ziggler knocked off Breaker, a loss that Braun has not forgotten, and has all led to tonight. And his opponent from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph a rivalry that once started NXT over the NXT Championship has bled over to Friday Night SmackDown over the last several months. And this is really one of those situations where two egos are clashing simply over the wins and losses that can propel a superstar's career. Braun Breaker looks at Dolph Ziggler as a man who took away an opportunity. Dolph Ziggler looks at Braun Breaker as a man who's trying to use Ziggler as a stepping stone in his SmackDown career. At the end of the day, only one man can get their hand raised from bell to bell. Breaker has defeated Ziggler. Zieg Ziggler has defeated Breaker. But it all comes down to this. For all the marbles tonight, for the bragging rights, to stroke their own ego, to be the better man, and who possibly take the next step here on SmackDown. It's Breaker, Ziggler, inside a steel cage. The bell has sounded and the main event is underway. Golden One Center, Sacramento getting a treat tonight. They've been an awesome crowd all night long. And before we take our trip to San Francisco in 48 hours, one more stop tonight here on SmackDown with this much anticipated conclusion to a 
monumental rivalry that has progressed over the last several months here on the Blue Brand. Remember, these two men locked horns as well and had a meeting of the minds in that number one contenders match for the United States Championship that was inevitably won by Cody Rhodes several weeks ago. Just another opportunity that Ziggler and Breaker weren't able to capitalize on. But as we mentioned, Braun Breaker, he's looking to use Dolph Ziggler as a stepping stone. Take that next step, level up, continue to progress here on Friday Night SmackDown. Take another opportunity and hopefully capitalize on it. As for Dolph Ziggler, he looks at Braun Breaker as a guy who is trying to do that, and Ziggler's not wanting to allow it. Ziggler does not want to be a stepping stone for anybody. Dolph Ziggler ain't slowing down anytime soon. Former world champion, former intercontinental, United States tag team champion, Ziggler has done a little bit of everything here in the WWE, but he wants another run in the main event. He wants his shot at a, at a United States or a world championship. And it starts here tonight by finally putting the bet, putting to issues, Ziggler almost got the win there, putting the issues to bed with Braun Breaker. More remains to be seen what is gonna happen inside the confines of this dangerous and destructive steel cage. That's why we are having the steel cage tonight. This easily could have been a normal one-on-one -on -one matchup, but it's time to settle the score once and for all. And these issues that have really been a several year looming problem between Breaker and Ziggler. Throw him inside a steel cage, anything and anything goes. As we just saw right there, Breaker sends Dolph into the cage and Ziggler's flesh the first to come in contact with the cold, hard steel. It is not gonna go well for Dolph Ziggler as this matchup moves forward. And he eats it again. That cage will rip your flesh apart. Leave you broken and battered limb by limb and Ziggler is finding that out firsthand. This isn't Dolph's first rodeo inside a structure like this, but certainly I will say, possibly the biggest match of Braun Breaker's young career here on SmackDown. Ziggler trying to start swinging. He knows after he just met the steel cage on numerous occasions early on in the contest. That could come back to bite him in the later rounds. Now Braun Breaker fighting an uphill battle against the show off at least for a moment. You gotta wonder with so many high profile matches coming up this Sunday, both the United States and world title from Friday Night SmackDown to be defended. Gotta look at Ziggler and Braun Breaker and whoever wins this matchup is a possible challenger for one of those two championships in the near future. As we mentioned, this whole issue really got reignited between Breaker and Ziggler during Breaker's pursuit of Drew McIntyre's world championship and Ziggler got involved in the situation. Remember what was on the line in the King of the Ring tournament as well was not only the crown of the king, but the opportunity to challenge for your brand's world championship at SummerSlam, the right that Austin Theory earned, and he'll get his match up in 48 hours. That's what Ziggler and Breaker were fighting for. It really comes down to, again, the wins, the losses, the championship opportunities, the main event picture, and the bragging rights between these two men. That is what is at stake tonight. Neither man looking to leave Sacramento with an L. As now Ziggler is looking to stretch out Braun Breaker and make him feel the punishment. Steel cage or not, Ziggler one of the best wrestlers from bell to bell in the entire universe. But Braun Breaker, as tough as they come. Nice reversal there, the former two-time NXT champion. He may have a bad attitude. Does that bruiser, that blue chipper Braun Breaker, but he knows how to get it done from bell to bell. Still a long career ahead of Breaker with a lot to learn and a lot to overcome, but you can't knock the talent inside of the ring already. There's a reason he's a former two-time NXT champion. There's a reason he stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Drew McIntyre a few months ago. There's a reason Breaker was a participant representing SmackDown and Money in the Bank last month. There's a reason Braun Breaker finds himself in the main event tonight. Dolph Ziggler knows that Braun Breaker's as tough as they come. He is finding it out firsthand right now as Breaker is in complete control of this steel cage match. We may have spoken too soon. Well, there's a counter, and down goes the show off. Dolph Ziggler is feeling it. Braun Breaker all over the show off. And Sacramento showing their displeasure for Braun Breaker here tonight. Ziggler is down, Ziggler is out. The show off is hurt. 
He has come in contact with that steel cage on numerous occasions, and Braun Breaker, using his fist, his left, his right, his powerhouse strength, to demolish Ziggler inside of the ring, and there's a belly to belly. Remember where Braun Breaker comes from. This is a man, a part of the Steiner family. Nothing but bruisers inside of that squared circle throughout their careers. Braun Breaker, the living embodiment of that again. Ziggler kicks out, but may have just been off adrenaline. May have just been off of instinct. Ziggler's got to get things going here. Braun Breaker will continue this onslaught over the show off and continue to pick apart Dolph for as long as Ziggler allows it. No referee that can stop this tonight. Anything goes, everything will happen inside of that steel cage as we are witnessing. And it ain't over to that bell sounds. It's a nice counter by Dolph. I'm gonna get Breaker off from the least for a minute, get some distance, and a nice back suplex, and down goes Breaker. Ziggler's gotta get things going here. Sacramento behind Dolph Ziggler, and there's the zigzag. Ziggler going to the well with his best shot, but it's not enough to keep Breaker down. Dolph Ziggler throwing that zigzag at Braun Breaker. Knew he had to go with one of his best tricks to try to even the playing field in this match. But Braun Breaker still breathing, still with blood pumping through the veins. And on a pursuit to demolish Dolph Ziggler tonight. Ziggler trying to avoid whatever Breaker had in mind, but gets taken off his feet at least for a moment. This is your main event on this live edition of Friday Night Smackdown. We are here in the Golden One Center, Sacramento, California. And Dolph Ziggler goes face to face with a solid steel cage. And I believe Dolph Ziggler may have been busted open there. Not exactly sure from our vantage point, but Ziggler coming in contact head to head with that cage and certainly is going to feel it in the morning. Trying to stretch out Breaker again at the submission hold. Is he trying to win or is he just trying to wear down this hungry young son of a bitch in Braun Breaker? The Breaker gets out of it again. Dolph Ziggler sporting a crimson mask. That's only going to be a target for Breaker to seek out. Braun will become like a shark in infested waters, I promise you. And with nowhere to run in this steel cage. Only so much distance you can create between you and your opponent. Dolph Ziggler has got to get back into this before Braun Breaker absolutely picks on the bones of the show off here tonight. Send it, Ziggler, full force into the cage again. My goodness. Dolph Ziggler is hurt. Ziggler is down, only really standing on his feet right now because of the ropes. Oh, and there's a counter by Dolph using said ropes to his advantage. Breaker getting hung up on the top. Now Dolph Ziggler with Breaker off, coming from behind. Nice snap, German. Great strength, great resilience out of Dolph Ziggler. Trying to show Braun Breaker that he messed with the wrong superstar tonight. Teach this young man some respect. Breaker down, and Dolph Ziggler's wheels are a spin in. Super kick turned round Sacramento. Ziggler unable to capitalize immediately. Into the cover now. Getting the two, but Braun Breaker kicks out. Ziggler with a last itch effort off that super kick. But the exhaustion set in, and Ziggler had to drag his own carcass over to cover Breaker, but it wasn't enough. Sacramento in appreciation of the performance of these two superstars. Ron Breaker avoided Ziggler's kick there, and now a nice scoop and a slam. And Dolph once again fighting an uphill battle. Dolph Ziggler, he hit that zigzag, he hit the super kick. Did he throw his best shots in this contest? Is Ziggler running on E? Is Ron Breaker about to pick on the bones of Dolph as we speculated on throughout this match? Ziggler on spaghetti legs. Braun Breaker again using the steel cage as a weapon. There were no escapes in this matchup. It can only be won by pinfall or submission. And Dolph Ziggler is absolutely worse for wear. And Braun is, oh, there's a shot by Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler, famous sir. 
Another way to create some distance. Another way to build some momentum. Big time Famouser, and I believe Braun Breaker may be busted open now as well. Dolph Ziggler with that right or left, whatever it was that he hit a moment ago. I think cracked open Breaker, bare knucks to the skull. The Famouser, however, wasn't enough, and Braun Breaker cut and Dolph in half with the super kick. Or excuse me, the spear. So much is being thrown in this matchup. Dolph Ziggler is exhausted, yet somehow still fighting. The Braun Breaker with a counter off the headbutt. Crimson Mass being sported in each corner of the ring. And although Dolph Ziggler is still fighting, how much does he have left in him? We see a reversal out of Dolph, and then Braun changes the trajectory in a matter of moments. Dolph sit upon the top. Now Braun Breaker going for that classic Steiner, Frankensteiner. And Dolph Ziggler. This may be all she wrote. Wait a minute, what's Breaker doing here? I thought he was going to go for the cover. Braun Breaker scale on the side of the cage by help of the top rope and drops an elbow to the sternum, or shall I say to the heart of Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler being brought to his feet by Breaker. Oh, wait a minute. Goes for the super kick. Nobody home. Breaker now. Off the reversal. Press slam. Down goes Ziggler. Into the cover. And that'll do it. Braun Breaker writing the final chapter in these long storied issues between the blue chipper and the show off. Ziggler gave it all he had. But the young, tough, and resilient SOB that is Braun Breaker proving his worth and making a statement tonight on SmackDown. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker. Braun has waited months to put his issues with Dolph Ziggler behind him and march forward to the next opportunity. And after tonight's brutalizing steel cage match, I believe Braun Breaker did just that. You gotta wonder what is next for Breaker, but ladies and gentlemen, we will see you tomorrow afternoon for the Cruiserweight Classic. And all roads lead to Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time in Levi Stadium for the 2023 Summer Slam. Good night, everybody. on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, if you hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.